What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority, and late last year when Samsung announced the Galaxy Note 5 and the Essex Edge Plus, they also announced their own proprietary mobile payment platform called Samsung Pay, similar to Android Pay from Google and Apple Pay from Apple. But how does Samsung Pay work? What are the requirements? What are the benefits? And what is it like to use Samsung Pay? So Samsung Pay works a lot like other mobile payment platforms out there like Android Pay or Apple Pay by using NFC. But you may have heard that Samsung Pay is the most widely accepted form of mobile payment available, but why is that? Well, that's because Samsung Pay also utilizes MST, which stands for Magnetic Secure Transmission, uh, which essentially mimics the physical swipe of a credit card through magnetic waves, which neither Android Pay or Apple Pay do. Basically, what this means is anywhere you can tap or swipe a credit card, you'll be able to use Samsung Pay without the store having to upgrade their hardware in order for you to do so. It's completely secure through tokenization, which creates a unique identifier for processing the transaction, which means you never have to worry about your actual credit card number being compromised. In order to use Samsung Pay, you have to have one of Samsung's latest devices like the S6, Essex Edge, Note 5, and Essex Edge Plus, and of course the upcoming S7 and S7 Edge. All four major carriers in the US are supported, but Samsung Pay will also work on some smaller carriers like US Cellular, Metro PCS, and Cricut. Setting up Samsung Pay is actually pretty simple. You start by downloading the Samsung Pay application from the Google Play Store if you don't already have it. Once downloaded, the app will ask you to register for a Samsung account or sign into your existing Samsung account, which is required to use the service. From here, the app will ask you to verify payments with either a pin or your own fingerprint, but if you want faster or more secure payments, it's best to use your own fingerprint. From here, you're ready to add your card of choice, and you can either register a card by using the phone's camera or enter the info manually. You can add up to 10 cards in total, and major credit card companies such as Bank of America, Citi, Chase, US Bank, American Express, and most recently Wells Fargo are all supported, but if you're unsure if your bank is supported, you can see a complete list on Samsung's website. But what is it like to use Samsung Pay? Well, here are my experiences from using Samsung Pay for the last couple of days at various different places, and I'll let you see for yourself. Cause I'm running out of time, what do you mean? Better make up your mind, what do you mean? Oh, hey, didn't realize you were there. So uh, anyways, I'm, actually on my way to uh, a Target right now. I'm going to uh, be picking up something for a baby shower that I have to attend uh, this weekend. So I figured it'd be a good opportunity to try out Samsung Pay, which I've actually never used before. Um, I've used Google Wallet and um, Android Pay and stuff before in the past, but Samsung Pay, this will be a first for me. So hopefully, you know, it works. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. So I just left Target. I got what I needed for the baby shower, and I used Samsung Pay for the very first time, and it worked just like they say it does. Um, pretty much any terminal that accepts credit cards uh, where you can swipe or tap your credit card, uh, it basically just works like normal like a normal credit card so um, I just put my finger on the fingerprint scanner and the transaction literally went right through within seconds and that was all there was to it so now I'm on my way to a FedEx I have a couple of packages that I need to ship off and uh, I'm gonna try to use Samsung pay out of FedEx I don't know if it's gonna work Oh, <laughs> oh. 
Is it, is it frozen? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it might be. Frozen. I hope not. But everything else does? Yeah, everything shows up except for me. No. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> okay, I'll just wipe my card. <laughs> so, I just tried to use Samsung Pay at FedEx to pay for shipping for a package that I needed to send off, and it just did not work. Uh, it actually froze up their computer. And they let me try it twice. They were kind enough to let me do it two times, and I froze up two of their computers, which is kind of hilarious. But yeah, it didn't work. It actually did read my card information, and the info popped up on their computers. But after that point, it just would not process the transaction, and that's when uh, it locked up their entire systems. So today is day two of using Samsung Pay. And the goal for today, at least for me, is to try to hit up some more local spots around town instead of hitting up the bigger chains. I will hit up a couple more big chains as well, um, but those places to me are a little bit less interesting because I know it most likely will work. Um, so I want to hit up to the smaller spots, places that you're not going to find in every single city, and see how well Samsung Pay works at those places. So right now I'm at McDonald's. Uh, I don't really want to eat McDonald's, but We'll go with barbecue. Took a little bit. <laughs> So just got done eating McDonald's for the sake of Samsung Pay and as you might have seen uh, it was throwing up an error when I held it up to the NFC part of the terminal um, and I tried it a couple times it kept throwing up some sort of error I'm not sure exactly what it was uh, but once I moved it to the magnetic strip part of the terminal it went through just just fine uh, so I'm not exactly sure what was going on there but it did work um, so not a huge deal but it did take a little bit more time than I kind of wanted it to. Um, but now I'm on my way to a local uh, boba shop or bubble tea shop um, to test out Samsung Pay over there. They do have a magnetic strip terminal, I believe. Uh, there is no NFC, so um, hopefully it's going to work. Uh, so I'm on my way there now, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It is really freaking sunny. So, um... I just went to a local boba shop here and they did not have a magnetic card terminal like I thought they did, so that was a fail. And then uh, I ended up seeing this donut shop right next door to it and I went to that hoping that they would have one. Uh, they did have one, but not one that I could actually use, not one that I could actually use myself. So now I have this delicious drink and a delicious box of donuts. Um, but right now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the World Market and try to use Samsung Pay there. Uh, yes. <laughs> hmm. 
it is still freaking sunny. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But uh, I am done for the day. I am done spending money. I think I've spent enough. Uh, but as you guys just saw, I bought the high shoes and the green tea Kit Kats uh, here at the World Market, and it went through perfectly fine. It was flawless. Uh, the only thing I had to do was actually approve the amount on the screen, but otherwise, uh, it went through just fine as if I were to actually physically swipe a card. So, um, you know, Samsung Pay works really well, and actually, I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. So before I wrap up this video, I wanted to leave you guys with a couple of takeaways. And takeaway number one is uh, the amount of banks that Samsung Pay supports is actually very limited right now. It's a very finite amount of banks. Uh, so my debit card that I wanted to use with Samsung Pay uh, that I've actually been able to use with Android Pay for a long time now works perfectly fine, but it is not supported through Samsung Pay. So that's just something to be aware of. Your bank may not be supported. And in order for me to actually use Samsung Pay, I had to use a personal credit card of mine which I didn't really want to do, but I did it for the purposes of demoing Samsung Pay and the purposes of this video. Uh, takeaway number two is I love the fact that it supports MST because you can use Samsung Pay at a wider variety of places because of this. So basically any place that you can tap or swipe a credit card, you can use Samsung Pay and that is not a joke, it is true. Uh, so I love that about Samsung Pay and that's what basically gives them a leg up over Android Pay and Apple Pay. Uh, but that's really gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. We definitely appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel, which is also down below if you haven't already. And check out the website as well for more in-depth coverage, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android.